Hey you guys, welcome back to Planning with Penguins and to episode two of our Stardew Valley Let's Play. So I actually filmed uh, the second episode already and the file kind of got corrupted. So we're going to have quite a few days, I want to say day four through day 11, that you guys aren't going to get to see because that file broke down. But we're going to go ahead and we are going to jump into it right now. And I don't want these videos to be super long and I don't want to have to speed through them either, like to speed them up for you. And also my editing skills are not as on point as some other people who do Let's Plays. So I thought it might be easier for us to just do uh, like a few days at a time. All right, so Penguin Life Farm, this is the farm that we are playing together. All right, so we are on Friday the 12th of spring. It's a bummer that you guys missed me getting my cat. Uh, let's see, dad just gave us 500 gold, we'll take it, and the egg festival. So that means that we are about to be able to get strawberries. Yeah, so you guys missed, um, my inventory is full. Oh. All right, that was having a mild heart attack. You miss me getting my kitty cat, and look how cute my cat is right over here. So adorable. And I think that happened on day 10. So I was real, I'm really sad that the file that I was using with you guys got kind of corrupted, but I, I'm not really sure what happened. I'm not sure what happened when it saved. It could also be that I had some issues with my software that I used to record. So we're just going to record a couple days so that I don't have to cut a lot out and so that you guys get a real look into me playing. And because I feel like that's what a Let's Play is supposed to be about. I have watched quite a few other streamers and their Let's Plays. And I think the difference between me and them is the fact that like one, they're way better at editing videos than I am, <laughs> uh, at least gaming type videos. But then also they just know how to pace themselves a little bit better. And they know where to make those cuts when it comes to the editing. So that's one place that I'll have to learn. Anyway, we're just going to water all of our crops that we have right here. We've got a whole bunch of different crops growing. We've got white alpine strawberries. We've got cauliflowers. We've got potatoes. We have some of the new seeds that are with our with our stuff we have green beans we've got some flowers over there i think this is a field that was uh mixed seeds right down here i don't remember what this is oh passion fruit so we've got passion fruit coming up here in a few days these are all green beans. Okay, so I remember what happened here. I was looking at the bundles that I have to complete and I need five gold star green beans. And I had only planted one green bean. Now what I didn't think about is the fact that I could buy green bean seeds and wait until I have the greenhouse potentially. And then I could grow my green beans and get my five gold star green beans. Instead, I sort of freaked out and decided to plant just a bunch of green beans, hoping that I get some gold star green beans. Uh, let's see, okay, so we've got everything watered, but before we go on with the day, our luck is pretty bad, but the traveling merchant is here. I'm gonna go ahead and put us into the water here. One thing is you can change into your swimsuit. You don't have to, you can go right in in your clothes if you want to, and it'll still recharge your energy, so that's good. I'm gonna take a look at our resources as well. It's been a few days since I've played this and recorded for you guys, so I don't know exactly uh, what our resources situation is. I also need to take a look at our quest and see what we're doing. Oh, we need to go up and enter the Adventurer's Guild. We need to reach level 40. We need to craft a furnace, coop, and meet people. We've met 41 of the 73. 
So definitely quite a bit of work to do. It does look like they it really wants us to go up to the mines. The only problem with going up to the mines is the fact that we're on a bad luck day. So probably won't do very well as far as getting further down in the mines. But we do need to work on that. That is definitely something that we need to work on. And then let's take a look at our resources here. They're okay. I think we can make a furnace with what we've got. We do also have a quality sprinkler that Sophia gave us. But we can we can sell that stuff to make a little bit of money. Somehow I managed to get myself stuck down here. All right, we're going to go see the traveling merchant. I'm not that she's going to have anything that we need, but or that we have the money to buy it. Because it is still only the 12th of spring. Let's see, speed grow, sea cucumber. I don't know if we need a sea cucumber. Let me get, I have a little notebook over here where I was writing the different bundles that we would need. Let's see, in the special fish, we'd need a super cucumber, but not a regular sea cucumber. Let's see, oh, this would be good for the quest that's gonna happen with Pam. And we won't, depending on how we progress through, we may not be able to make pale ale just yet. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that because I don't like having quests sitting over my head. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. I don't know, I don't know if I've met him. Okay, that's Jacob. I'm not sure if I've met him or not. All right, we don't have very... What are our skill levels right now? Farming is at a two. Foraging, fishing. Wow, those are even. <laughs> okay, we've really got to do some work on that for sure. Foraging, the easiest way to level up foraging is to just chop down a bunch of trees. It's honestly the easiest Let's go over to the beach, though. We've met Sophia because she gave us a quality sprinkler, but... And, oh man, we probably shouldn't have bought that because <laughs> we need the money for the for the strawberry seeds that are coming. So I'm probably gonna need to do a bunch of fishing in order to make up for that. Oh, we still need to repair this bridge. Oh goodness. Well, we don't have enough. We need 300 wood. Alrighty, so we're really going to need to fish. I don't know, I'd like to get up to 2,000. I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, and we don't have enough crops. That's where our major money is going to come from. I wonder if we can, I don't, we might be able to chop down 300 wood and be able to get those forageables that are over there. Uh, because getting strawberry seeds is going to be really, really helpful. Besides, we do need, oh man, we do need a strawberry for, the oh we need a garlic i know i just talked about spending money oh my god but we do need garlic we need garlic for the spring crops bundle we also need kale strawberry and unmilled rice so those are things that we need to think about and i'm glad that i thought about that right now that we're going to need that garlic pierre doesn't start selling garlic until the second year i want to go double check that though actually i can look at it right here Spring crops bundle, yep, I'm right. So we need kale, garlic, strawberry, and unmilled rice. I think I have uh, some of that stuff planted. I don't think I have the rice planted. 
In fact, I don't think I have, oh, I already have a garlic. I already thought about it. Well, now we have two. Um, all right, I'm just gonna get myself back positioned down here. Ocean fish is probably the best fish to get that will give you Bought a sleek dress for myself. Ocean fish are the best fish to to get for uh, for money, but there's some bubbles here, so. And we just need to start fishing. Like we're gonna run out of time during the day, so we just need to start. We would make more money if we were using uh, the regular fishing rod and if we had more space in our pockets, but we don't. All right, I'm just gonna throw all the fish in here. You can see I have uh, I have stuff in here that would be for some of the, the community center bundles. We can get rice, um, rice sprout thingies when we're mining. So we really do need to get into the mines because we need to get some of those rice pieces. Ooh, nice, geodes and coal. Geodes and coal, those are really good things to have. So for now, I'm just gonna throw everything in there. It's just easier. All right, not bad. I don't know how much that one fish we keep catching sells for though. Hundred and twenty, that's not too bad. I really don't think we're gonna get to two thousand, which is where I would like to be, but I didn't plan appropriately for the egg festival. I wasn't thinking straight. Well, we leveled up our fishing skill to level three, which is crazy because I don't usually level up my fishing skill very fast. I normally level up my foraging skill really fast. This fishing, these fishing bubbles have stayed around for a long time. I was thinking maybe we'd be done fishing once the bubbles went away, but they are not going anywhere. Ooh, fog is setting in or a mist. Trash, trash. I think we have some more of those. Yeah, the fish you need in this game are so much weirder than the normal fish. 60, 75, 60, 150, 300. I don't know, you never know. Okay, so 
I don't think we have time or the energy to get enough wood. So maybe what we should do, Sheila, hello, Sheila. Maybe what we should do is try to do a little foraging. See if we can find anything that we can sell because anything at this point will help. You know what, rich, ooh, I don't wanna go up there yet. We should probably also consider trying to catch some bugs. I totally forgot about bug catching that we can catch bugs in this game and that we can sell those bugs. So we could try to catch some butterflies. I think I'm gonna go up here. Yeah, looks like we have have a few forageables up here. There's also some hardwood. We should probably upgrade our axe too soon. This will actually take us take us up in the pathway that goes up and over to Robins. And sometimes there's stuff on that trail to forage, although I'm not really seeing anything and it's even harder to see with the mist, so. Maybe that mist will clear. I'm just kind of trying to look around, see what I see. Sometimes there's leeks and horseradish out here. I'm not seeing anything like that. Let's see if we can catch some fish up here. Maybe run out our energy bar up here. Same fish, man. What is up with that fish? And it's a newer fish. Um, one of the new fish that was added to the game. Oh, there is, there's a daffodil up there. Chubs. I think we need the chub for the lake fish bundle. I think this is another chub. Sure is, I was right. All right, I'm gonna start heading back. We're gonna go up and get that daffodil. but of course we can't get it. One of those chubs we need to save for the fishing bundle, although chubs are really easy to get, so it won't be hard to get another one of those if we needed it, but since we have it, we might as well keep it. Although we do need the money, so I could look and see how much it is. If it's inconsequential, then probably not. I'm gonna go ahead and jump through this cave right here, which brings us to the other side over here, which gets us faster back to our main farm. Alrighty, let's see here. So the egg festival is tomorrow. It's 50. Mm. 
I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's go to bed and go on to Saturday the 13th, which is the egg festival. Ooh, fishing one up. We can make crab pots, fishing rod proficiency, and dish of the sea. We don't have, oh my gosh, did we do it? <gasps> we did it. We have 2,200 at least. We have at least, at least 2,200. Twenty two forty four. Hey, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. I don't know what just happened. Whatever mail we had, I messed it up. All right, let's get these potatoes watered. We've got to at least water everything today. It does look like we have some crops that are ready. Looks like we have some potatoes that are ready. So we'll at least get some money coming in after we spend all of our money buying star uh, strawberry seeds. I bought those violets because I thought they were pretty. They're ready to harvest, but like part of me doesn't want to harvest them. I want to keep them there. I don't think I can build a bee house yet. I don't think my farming skill is leveled up enough, but I wish it was because then I would totally make a bee house and I would totally have violet honey or whatever it is. Alrighty, here we go. I wish you could walk through the trellises. That's one of the more annoying things about the game is that you can't walk through the trellises. That's why I put passion fruit over here and I only bought one and I was like, I'm just gonna put you over here. Alrighty, so I went ahead and harvested the violets. I'm gonna use them as gifts. for my villagers to give them gifts to help level up my my relationships. Caroline is at one, so that's good. We've got to work on Marnie. And where was Lewis? Not Lewis, but Linus. Not very good. Linus and Caroline are my two go-tos that I always do first. Uh, it didn't used to be that way, but that's how it is now. All right, how many strawberry seeds can we buy? Should we just spend all of it? Spend all of it on strawberry seeds? That's what I think. 22, that is perfect. All right, well, for the sake of the game, we will play the egg festival and we will try to beat Abigail because she's the one that always 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 wins this but lucky for me i know where a lot of the eggs are hidden and i know where to go to find them so we've got to sit through some of this where lewis talks about the highlight of the festival of being the egg festival how the kids get all excited how he wishes he could get them excited to do chores and to clean up around town and all of this other stuff and asks if everyone is ready to go and of course everybody is Look at this turtle. I've never seen that turtle before. 
I swear that was an oh maybe that's a cherry blossom. There's an egg over here. Abigail, get out of the way. She's gonna try to get all of my eggs. I don't usually go this way. There's a I usually go a different direction, but usually if you can get about eight then you're in a good spot. All right, I think we might have just gotten eight. You don't really get anything of monetary value. All you get is a hat. And it's not even a cute hat. Whoa, Sophia won! All right, I am happy about that. At least it wasn't Abigail. She gets a hat! Give her a hat, give her the hat. All right, here we go. All right, I need to get these in the ground. We have got to get these in the ground. So let's see. We have a quality sprinkler that we're going to put out and put put eight of them on. All right, and then one, two, you know what? I'm just gonna put them up here. This ground is already tilled really quickly. I'm pretty sure we have sap. Ooh, we have basic retaining soil too, fertilizer. So let's put that on three of them. With the sap, we can make basic fertilizer. So I'm just gonna make 22, even though we won't need the whole 22. And that will help the quality of them. All right, but we do need to get these watered. And they will get, some of them will get watered by that sprinkler. All right, awesome. Well, let's go home. So we're probably just gonna play one more day. So we'll get in three days in this Let's Play. So we'll play day 14 here. And it looks like we have a cooking recipe. Coleslaw, all right. We are back around on a Sunday, which means the traveling merchant is here. We don't have a lot of money, so probably nothing we need to invest any time in. We do have some parsnips, we have some strawberries. Let's see here, let's go ahead and get to our shipping bin and let's ship out all of this stuff we'll save we're gonna save that cauliflower because jody is going to ask us for a cauliflower all right so let's get everything watered looks like we have really good luck today today might be a good day to go to the mine and try to get a few more floors down. Do I not have kale? Oh no. 
I thought that I got cauliflower. These are all cauliflower sprouts. Parsnip. Oh no, I don't think I ever bought kale seeds. No, that's not good. That is not good. I thought I did. Oh, just kidding, I did. <laughs> I was like, I'm sure I did. I have these trellises done in such a way that I can get the majority of them while I'm standing in one spot. Oh my gosh, I have one crop left and it's one green bean. <laughs> Goodness. All right, we have two options today. We can either go down and start and just start chopping trees so that we can forage or we go across. I vote we go to the mine and the reason I say that is because we need to get further down because we've got to get resources. We've got to get to iron and all of that other stuff. We've got to get clay, we've got to get coal. We need more copper. Uh, judging on how much copper we have, I'm pretty sure we don't have very much at all. We haven't gotten very far down at all. Uh, we have triggered the floor 40, which means that we got to floor 5 or 10 or whatever it was, but we clearly haven't spent enough time in there. So it might be time to just do a little grinding. It looks like this boulder is about to be uh, removed based on this cutscene right here, which is a Stardew Valley expanded cutscene. Good day, Teresa. More as Prama Jojo would clear away this rock slide by now. Susan is trapped at home and can't get out except via train. Now he's telling me the cleanup operation is delayed until early summer. My hands are tied. As the mayor of Pelican Town, it's my duty to ensure everyone is safe. Morris and I will reach a resolution regarding the rock slide soon. I'm just relieved no one was hurt during the rock slide. All right, so he's basically just explaining to us what that was. And we do, we have to wait until early spring to meet Susan. Ooh, a rusty cog. All right, let's, I'm gonna just start throwing things that are rewards. I usually have a bin by now that's for quests. But for some reason, I don't. Now, normally I would go and give that leak to Lewis, but I'm gonna keep it in case we need it for energy. Oh goody, we've only gotten to floor 10. Perfect, that's exactly what we need. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of get rid of all of that stuff. We don't need that taking up space. Wow, I can't believe we are only at floor 10. <laughs> all right, so this grind is not gonna be for resources. This grind is gonna be all about just getting deeper. Besides, we don't want to use our pickaxe too much since we, uh, we don't have a whole lot of energy. So we want to use
we just want to use our sword as much as possible. Only problem is we have to use our pickaxe in order for us to find the ladder. When you're here on a good luck day, you're supposed to be able to find the ladders very fast, so... But for whatever reason, that doesn't seem to be happening. And we're going to run out of energy here pretty quick. So if I'm going to run out of energy, then I'm going to come get this topaz. I mean, I would like to at least get down to 15. Before oh, F. Yeah, there's no way. Because you're not going to... You have to kill everything before they give you a way out of there. So, well, that wasn't very good lucky, was it? <laughs> no, it was not. All right, let's throw our resources in here. You know what? I don't know why I have all the green stuff in a separate bin right now that doesn't make any sense to me because I'm too new in the playthrough for that to be a thing. So we're going to actually change the name of this one to quest. And this is where I'm going to put like all that questy kind of thing, things for the community center, things for like food, gifts for people, all of that sort of stuff. Let me get my stuff back. All right let's at least forage this stuff we're gonna have to either go charge ourselves up and then uh maybe just invest in chopping down trees or something at this rate we can probably make it to the we can't afford anything from the from the traveling merchant, but we could at least go look just to satisfy the curiosity. Although everything is about time, you know, in this game. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go down to the traveling merchant and then I will see what time it is. If I think there's enough time to charge our energy, then we'll go out and chop some trees. We really do need to get the 300 wood to get that bridge to go across to get the foraging over there. Wood. If we had the money for a battery pack, that would be really nice. But we don't. So, all right. So we'll see what time it is by the time we get back to our house. Looks like it's going to be close to 5, 4.30, 4.40. All right, let's see how long it takes for our energy to get recharged in our bathtub. Our bathtub spa. Got rid of our, our health got replenished very fast. It's the energy that's the problem. All right, took about an hour. But I think that's good enough. So we're just gonna, we're gonna dive in here and we're gonna just start chopping some trees. Get all these pine trees down right here.
what we need is we need a good spot that has like one oak tree, one maple tree, and one pine tree so that we can put tappers on them when it's time, which it's going to be time to do that very soon. So I think we have like 170 wood right now. So we need about a good another 100, 150. The climate weather stuff is kind of interesting, like the misty rain and all of that. That's kind of just an interesting, you know, new feature. All right, let's go ahead and put all of this in our resources. I'm going to save those daffodils for Caroline. They're one of the best gifts that we can give her. Or we have those other flowers too. You never know. So see, we have, that would actually be really good over there in front of the greenhouse. We've got a pine tree. We've got uh, another one. Oh, good. We leveled up our foraging. That's really good. We needed that to happen. So this is actually a good area. We've got three of those, tr one of each of the trees right here. There's a mixed seed on the ground, so we'll have to clear up our inventory here in a minute. All right, we're at 315, so not bad, not bad. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one chopped down and our energy is almost out and it's 910. All righty, let's go ahead and get back to our house then. Okay, so we can unlock the bridge over on the beach now. That's good stuff. All right, let's see how we do. Level three farming, our water camp proficiency went up and our hoe, we can build spree grow and now we can build bee houses. So now we're rocking and rolling. Now we really need resources and farmer's lunch. We also leveled up in foraging. So we can now build a tapper, which I was just talking about. So we're gonna need to do that, a dehydrator and a drying rack. All right, looks like we got about 1500 gold, not bad. And that brings us to the end of this episode of the Let's Play of episode two. I really am sorry that you guys missed out on the on the other episodes that we had, um, that or the original episode two with the all the days in between here and the last one. I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, please like the video and share it out. I'd love for your comments down below. Any questions or comments you have about Stardew Valley, I would love to hear them. And so until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful and magical day and may the force be with you. Bye, you guys.